In this video we will have a very basic look at the altimeter. The altimeter is a flight instrument that tells the pilot how high the aircraft is above a datum point. There are many types and styles of altimeters. So in this video we will show you a generic, light aircraft altimeter. The altimeter consists of pointers. The larger pointer shows hundreds of feet. The small pointer shows thousands of feet. And the long, thin pointer shows tens of thousands of feet. In this picture, the altimeter reads about 1,200 feet. The window on the side shows what pressure setting is being used. This is usually the air pressure calculated for sea level and is briefly described later. The pressure setting is changed by using the control knob on the bottom left. To understand how the altimeter works, we must first look at the atmosphere and how it changes with increasing altitude. From the diagram, you can see that as you increase altitude, the air pressure reduces. The altimeter will use that change of pressure to display a height, altitude or flight level, depending on what is set in the pressure setting window. The altimeter uses this change of pressure to measure the altitude. To do that, we use a device called an aneroid capsule. The aneroid capsule is a box or chamber of thin metal, partially exhausted of air, and is sealed, so no air can get in or out. The capsule is expandable. This means that if there are any changes in the air pressure outside the capsule, the capsule will expand or contract accordingly. For example, if the air pressure outside reduces, the air pressure inside the capsule will make the capsule expand. Similarly, as the air pressure outside increases, the capsule will contract. The basic construction of the altimeter consists of a case, an aneroid capsule, and a system of gearing which is connected to the dials. The casing is connected to the static source, via a system of pipes, so that the static pressure is present inside the case. As the aircraft climbs, the static pressure reduces. Therefore the pressure inside the casing reduces at the same rate. This causes the aneroid capsule to expand. The expansion moves the gearing system which then moves the pointer. The altimeter then shows the new altitude. Conversely, as the aircraft descends, the static pressure inside the case increases. The aneroid capsule will contract and through the gearing, the pointer will show a descent to the new altitude. Modern airliners use computers that give electronic digital data, rather than aneroid capsules linked mechanically. These computers are called, air data computers, and the computed information is then sent to digital displays. However, the principle is the same. The air data computer senses the change in pressure, and the datum still needs to be set in the pressure setting window. Earlier in this video we discussed the pressure setting window on the altimeter. This setting is changed depending on what datum is being used. The first datum to look at is known as QNH. QNH is a calculated pressure at mean sea level. If the aircraft was at mean sea level with this pressure setting, it would read zero. If an aircraft was at an airfield 200 feet above mean sea level, then the altimeter would read 200 feet. The altimeter reading with QNH set is called the altitude. The second datum we will look at is called QFE. QFE is the pressure measured at the airfield. Therefore if the QFE is set on the altimeter, it will read zero on the ground. The reading on the altimeter with QFE set is called, height. The final datum we will discuss here is called the, standard pressure setting, or, standard, for short. The standard pressure setting on the altimeter is 1013.2 millibars. The pilot will set, standard, when climbing above a pre-determined altitude. This ensures that all aircraft flying at higher levels will be on the same datum.
The reading on the altimeter with standard set is called a flight level. For example, if the altimeter is reading 24,000 feet with standard set, the aircraft will be at flight level 240. The reason for using the standard pressure setting is safety. Wherever the aircraft is in the world, and whatever the atmospheric conditions are, it will be using the same datum as everyone else. This will ensure that two aircraft near each other at the same altimeter reading will be at the same level. This is more important when aircraft are approaching each other. If the aircraft on the left is reading 30,000 feet on its altimeter, flight level 300, and the aircraft coming in the opposite direction is reading 31,000 feet, or flight level 310, then using the same datum will ensure there is a 1,000 feet separation between the two. If both aircraft were on different altimeter settings, this separation could not be guaranteed, with the obvious dangers.